This week, lawmakers are talking about the gap in funding for special education in Minnesota schools. There's a new bill aimed at closing that gap by having the state pay for special ed programs, which will cost about $3 billion over the next four years. ABC 6 News reporter Maisie Olson is live in Rochester tonight. Maisie, what does this bill mean for schools across our area? Yeah, Emily, the chair of the school board here in Rochester, Kathy Nathan, testified in support of the bill up in St. Paul. Right now, school districts are paying millions of dollars for these special education programs, but at a time when school districts are really struggling to make ends meet, school leaders and lawmakers say it's time for the state to do their duty to the next generation. If they didn't have those types of supports uh, at school, um, if it were uh, underfunded or understaffed, um, they wouldn't be getting the education that they are getting now. Mary and Anna Root has two sons in the special education programs within Rochester Public Schools. Every family should have what we have. Um, it has been uh, <laughs> borderline life-saving to have that sort of support. And it's really nice to be there and have our kids like me and have teachers that are that understand. But now lawmakers are deciding who should be paying for those programs. Currently, the state government pays for roughly 6% of each school district's special education costs. The remaining 94% is up to the school district, which is called a cross subsidy. When we aren't funding the cross subsidy, what we're doing is basically shifting those costs to the district. And when we shift costs to a district, what we're, what we're doing is shifting it to property taxes. In southeastern Minnesota, RPS has a cross subsidy of about $15 million. In Austin Public Schools, the district is paying $5.8 million. The amount of support that the state provides is it's much less than the actual cost of providing the services to our students that they need and are required to have. Districts across the state use general funds to cover the difference. And with only so much money to go around, school officials are put in a tight spot. It does create that that unintentional pitting of a gen ed student versus a special education student. This bill would require the state to cover 100% of special education programs. The argument against the bill comes from lawmakers who say the federal government should be footing the bill. But others say that may never happen and schools need the money now. Money to fund programs like the ones Marion's sons use every day. I appreciate very much the fact that those supports existed and that those and I got the support that I needed um, and I can't imagine what it would be like if I didn't have that. After a committee hearing this week, the bill is likely to be put into a larger education package that would then move on to the House floor. Live in Rochester, Maisie Olson, ABC 6 News.